Hello everyone. Um, I'm not sure that going back through my videos if we've shown any flooring how-to videos and I mean this is snap flooring. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. Rusty's down measuring underneath our cabinet right there. There's the, just in case I haven't shown you anything, I don't think I have, but we did put this dense foam insulation underneath the flooring on the inside. That was our preference. Some people put it on the outside. Some people will tell you it can only be done one certain way. I've seen it done every sort of way. So we're doing this. This was our preference and it is plenty solid um, with that dent, dense insulation. And then this, uh, what is this quarter inch rusty or this um, board, this flooring we're using? Yeah, it's quarter it's inch. quarter inch flooring. So, but we're loving it. Now we didn't put the insulation up there and that's because we already have the space and we did put some insulation in, in between our tanks and we did a lot of spray foaming down there, but we are putting it on this floor. So that's what we're doing today. We just about got this project done. Um, it was real easy to do, especially since Rusty got rid of the, the dovetail back there the other day. So it's just straight across. Seems to me to make the, let me get back here a little ways seems to me to make the whole trailer look longer and way bigger so okay that's what we're doing right now and oh and we did get the rest our son made a trip to Oklahoma City he's in construction and I told you guys about the tornado our Lowe's is closed right now um although they have started lining cars up and selling wood on the outside for people who need wood for tornado and we did not want to take any of that wood so our son went to home depot in oklahoma city and picked up our last uh bit of beadboard so all that's been put in we're getting ready to trade this piece out that got water damage a while back so that one will be coming out and a new one will be going up and i think that's one full sheet so it should be pretty simple to do other than cutting out the lights so of course we threw our light templates away <laughs> do you remember <laughs> mercy gonna make that face again <laughs> he just made this horrible face like oh crap <laughs> so okay that's where we're at today and uh we purchased lumber while he was at home depot he also got the lumber we need to start our murphy bed we don't have all of it but we do have a local lumber store here they're just kind of pricey so what little bit of two by fours or one by fours or whatever Rusty needs to buy, um, we'll get that from our local lumber store because we didn't want to send our son with the huge list. But we did have our son get the expensive three quarter inch plywood while he was at Home Depot that we need. So that project's coming up pretty soon. And uh, I'll show you guys more when we get some more done. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like our videos so they go more viral and no, they won't go viral but they'll be shown to more people i guess you would call it so be sure and like the video guys we appreciate it curtains are made i still got to put a hem in them later but i'm putting i'm embroidering this sunflower because so i decided i'm going to go with this hunter green and a yellow for my extra you know color in the in the trailer since we've got a lot of wood and a lot of white and uh, I had I'm a quilter so I quilt I love my sewing machine and I had this fabric left over which there was enough to do four panels because I'm going to be doing the three big windows together as one window so I did two panels for that and then I did two panels for the other two windows on the other side and so I decided I would just embroidery, make them a little more special. I'm embroidering a little bit of color to them. So if you know somebody with a nice little brother machine that embroideries, that's what I'm working on right now. So I'll show you guys though when I get this project completed. Um, we haven't been able to do much on the trailer this week because it's been raining and we've got bead board we still need to put up and you know you can't, sorry for the noise in the machine, um, you know we can't put the, get the bead board near water so we're kind of having to hold off and wait on that. But we're getting down to the last little finishing touches and we're going to be starting our Murphy bed pretty soon. We've been working pretty hard today. Look, we've got all of our trim working. We've replaced the water 
sorry, I was waiting for him to finish. We replaced the waterlogged bo beadboard we had on the ceiling. Um, we've got that trim in. Um, the refrigerator is installed. It's an apartment size, I would call it. What What would you say, Rusty? I think that's a, it's either a 10 or a 12 cubic. So it's not huge, but it's definitely not small either. But that's what we like. It has a freezer and a refrigerator. And he's getting... 6.5. No, that's amps. Yeah, it's bigger than that, I know. He's trying to see. But anyway, refrigerator's in. And, of course, we're going to have a microwave cabinet up there that we'll be building pretty quick. And we brought the microwave in because um, we're having to move stuff out of our rental house because we have people moving into it this weekend. So we had to get some of our stuff out. So, um, And he's getting ready. He's it's finished... 11. 11. Okay, it's 11. I was said 10 to 12, so I was close. 11.5. 11.5. Okay, it's almost to 12. Um, so we're doing the, the rest of getting the trim in, and he's going to be... Um, do you screw that refrigerator in, Rusty? That's A lot of people have a yeah. question about how, uh, to, how to put the refrigerator in. How do you, we do it? Okay, I'm going to show you guys how we do it. This doesn't mean it's the only way or the right way, but that's how we do it. I took the adjusting legs off the front. And I welded them plates to it. And I this, can... Yeah. I can put screws. Of course, I need to adjust them. I need to level it. Yeah, he's got to finish it. <clears throat> but uh, I'll turn this one where it's sitting right here, and then I'll screw it down. And then I'll turn that one where it's right here and screw it down. That way the refrigerator can't slide in and out. Yeah. And this is a bridge have... out of our other cargo trailer. We really liked it. We looked at buying another one, but we just love the size of this one. So we decided just to rob it out of the other trailer. This little fridge is like the big ones. It's got rollers on the back. So uh, you definitely got to put something on it to keep it from rolling, sliding and rolling. Yeah, but that's how he mounted it in our other cargo trailer, and that fridge never, ever moved. And then, the because this is a just a regular household refrigerator, it wasn't made to go in a cargo trailer. So what we did over here was, of course, this was hidden in our other trailer, but we put these Velcro. So when we're traveling, and when we weren't traveling, you could just move them down out of your way. And then when we traveled, we just Velcroed them because it does not stay closed ask us how we know no don't ask us how we know it won't stay closed though so that's what we did on this one we're t i mean we can't really now that we've already got those screws in there we'll probably just leave that as it is someday we'll buy a new fridge i'm sure but they're they're kind of they're four to six hundred eight seven hundred bucks for this size they're as much as a full-size fridge so we just didn't want to spend the money uh, okay and um, this refrigerator was new when we put it in our other trailer two years ago. But here's something we didn't know. We we had cabinet rubbing that we didn't really realize was happening because you don't see well, it in the other... It whenever you opened it. Oh, when we were opening the door. Mm -hmm. So, and then we had a little bit of cabinet rubbing right up here. And apparently when I painted the cabinets, the other one, I got paint on this. So, I'm going to try to scrub that off. I can, nothing I can do about that unless we put it get some appliance paint. Move, Lexi. So, um, so yeah, just kind of be cautious. We, I guess we were just weren't that cautious on the last cargo trailer that we had these rubbings going on, but it's not a problem. So that's where we're at today. Um, I made the curtains. I had those finished. They're really cute. And as soon as uh, Amazon brings me my curtain rods today, I'll put them up and show you guys a picture of the curtains. Um, and then, oh, let me show you guys our flag table. This is a flag table. This was a table that was out of another RV. And I took it because they're so 1970s looking. So I took it and I, we had a bunch of pennies. And then Rusty from, as a child, had a bunch of these. Are those 50 cent pieces or dollar pieces, Rusty? Number 50. Okay. 50, he had these 50 cent pieces. And they just sat in our safe because they're really not worth anything because we checked the price. They're still not worth much more than 50 cents. But, well, they're by centennial. Yeah. And, um, but anyway, so we went ahead and we just, we decided we wanted to display them. Well, he was never going to get rid of them anyway. So there's not, there's only, there's 13 of them. So I made this flag and I took an oxidized 
those some pennies to make them look that bluish copper you have to get copper pennies so um yeah and i made this little flag table and put some what is that stuff called epoxy, oh, epoxy. i put epoxy on top of it and so we're getting ready to mount that table because of course it's not staying in the old cargo when we sell it because that's our personal item and um and then i've ordered our um wood stove or electric wood our electric fireplace looking thing that's going to go right there i ordered that it'll be here saturday tomorrow no friday tomorrow and that i ordered the new mount for the tv we didn't like the mount we had in the other trailer so we left the mount up for the next person and we just took the tv we're going to be getting that mounted and then rusty has the wardrobe to make he has the murphy bed and we've kind of put blue tape so we kind of know where these things are going to be and then he has the microwave and then we have a few little things oh we still have the whole front door to do but yeah we're getting really close and i think we've decided we're going to take this wood off of this door we're going to see how well they insulated it and if not insulated well then we're going to insulate it and then put the wood back on it and then I will be taking and buying some indoor-outdoor carpet like I did on our other trailer. And I will be putting indoor-outdoor carpet on that. But, yeah, we're getting pretty close to the last little bit. Um, we still have at least two weeks' worth of work. But we're getting close, guys. All right. I'm going to turn this off for now. And I'll show you guys more when we get some more completed. He's getting ready to, um, was leveled and our fridge was pretty much level, so we didn't have to do much to it. Them's actually too long. Uh-oh. He's trying to find the right size screws right now. He's got to go through a quarter inch of our hardwood flooring. He's got to go through an inch of insulation. And then I don't know what else. Oh, the plywood board that's underneath that. So... They don't work because they're two inches long. So. Okay, so that's what he's getting ready to do now. And so it's just pretty simple. He he already turned those, took a hammer and tapped them over where he needed them. <laughs> if I can get down there where I can show you guys. I told you all ago he just uh, welded those where the feet used to be on this fridge and of course the fridge door hides that the only time you see it is when you open the fridge so okay I just wanted to show you guys that real quick okay so several days later um, Amazon's two-day prime I guess is now just whenever they want to deliver but I finally got my rods so I got the first set up and uh they still look wrinkled and i've ironed them like six times and i've tried water i it's not it's that kind of fabric because i tied them back i bought these um uh, these little kind of old looking rope stuff to use for tie backs and now they're wrinkled again but i wanted just to get that up and just kind of show that to end this video so i can get a video posted because it's been a while um but i've just been waiting for uh, Amazon to deliver the curtain rods so I could do that. We also, let me just show you real quick so you'll know what's going to be upcoming. Um, we also just received our little fireplace and I don't know anything. I plugged it in and turned it on to make sure it worked. That was all I've done so I don't know how well it works. We received the new mount for our TV so that's going to be going up pretty quick. I've got to get the curtains on this side done and we also just got our little um, new soap dispenser because I have a hole on my sink right here. So I'm going to put a soap dispenser there to cover that up. Um, it was a $7 fix on Amazon, so that's the way I'm going. But anyways, I'm going to close this video here. I really appreciate you all watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next one. Um, I believe we are going to start the Murphy bed next. It will either be that or the air conditioner because it is getting warm. Okay, guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk with you next time.